YouTubers. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Here we have power outage for the United States, and it looks like uh, the East Coast is doing better. Uh, more concerning is what's going on here on the West Coast. Um, yeah, the state of Washington has 13,912 outages. Um, Oregon. 68,506. Uh, California has 33 outages. Um, I'm going to go to that in a little bit, but I wanted to see what was going on in uh, New York and Pennsylvania. Let's see, New York, 6,169. Vermont, um, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Michigan, Indiana, Virginia, uh, Carolina. Yeah, things are improving over there. But what the heck is going on over here? Here we have the state of Washington. Um, is it more acts of vandalism? Uh, the looters certainly have been out there in uh, New York on the East Coast. Let's see, um, Skagit, um, Jefferson County, a thousand, Thurston, two thousand three hundred sixty-eight, um, Lewis, two thousand eighty-five, and Columbia, twenty. Now, the news service is reporting that these uh powder outages and they're not still not showing um yeah up over here for the Pugin sound now there was uh four different acts of vandalism it was not burglary because nothing was taken these were act of terrorism here's one article talking about tacoma public utility substation Nothing had been taken from the substation, but the suspect vandalized the equipment, causing power outage. Deputies were notified of a second burglary. Um, entry with damage to equipment. Nothing was taken from the site either. Yeah, these are acts of terrorism, domestic or uh, someone being paid coming in from another country. Or just another country paying people to uh, vandalize uh, yeah, the equipment. I don't know. Now, this was all on Christmas Day. Uh, today is Tuesday, December 27th. Uh, the fire um, at Pugent Sound Energy Substation. Like I said before in my report yesterday, there was two uh, different areas that were vandalized. Uh, the suspects gained access to the fenced area and vandalized the equipment which caused the fire. And that was the uh, fourth incident at a substation in South Pierce County on Christmas Day. Oregon updated as of 10.28 a.m. About 10 minutes ago as I'm making this video. Okay, um, 5,000 plus out there. Uh, Marion County, 4,851. Um, Clackamas, 15,000. Yeah, see, and these are all near large metropolitan areas. Uh, Lynn, 4,000. Um, Benton, 5,675. Uh, Lane County, 5,724. Coos Bay, area uh four thousand there uh josephine county eleven thousand three hundred and thirty how many of these are acts of vandalism does anyone know i haven't had a chance to look up all right california um thirty three thousand two hundred and fifty one and this was just recently updated too as of ten twenty eight a.m um, Siskiyou County, 3,572, 1,000 in, um, that area, Humboldt, 5,000 people still out there, plus, 
uh, Mendocino County uh, to Hema County, 2,912. Now for the East Coast, the uh, death toll has risen to over 50. Um, here on Twitter, it talks about looters stealing TVs and furniture and food or medicine. I want to point out, people always have a heads up about weather-related um, disasters that could be coming, and there's no reason not to be prepared. Evidently, one of the looters was found dead, um, frozen to death, I guess, in the in the snow. I shared that on Twitter. Um, it says looting is still going on. This is today. Uh, says an anti-looting detail is in place. Four arrests have been made in the last hour. Um, yeah, where you can get your towed vehicles. Uh, more bodies are likely to be recovered once the snow melts. Yeah, they're going to find people dead in snow piles in their homes, in their cars, things like that. 100 military police are coming from the National Guard as well. And extra n members of the New York um sp i'm not sure what that stands for because people are ignoring the tr driving ban you're told to stay home there's no reason for you to go out you knew the storm was coming there's another one coming after it um when the uh, travel ban is listed or lifted excuse me then you can go out and get the stuff if you are too darn lazy uh to go out and prepare the best you can um, yeah, I, I, there's no excuse, no excuse whatsoever. And right now, the only ones that are going out are the thieves. They're breaking into homes, they're breaking into businesses. This here is an image of someone stealing a big screen TV. You can't say that's needed to uh, eat, drink, medication to uh, survive on. Emergency responders, police and all that couldn't get out, but the looters got out. I've seen uh, one group of looters on snowmobiles going to a dollar store and just taking whatever they could. You know, I could, you know, see if they're desperate because they were unprepared for the storm. But to go in and to trash everything, um, that's just the lowest of the low. Here we have an image from Fast Track Convenience Store. There's no excuse to vandalize another convenience store with the snacks just thrown on the floor you can see the empty spots in the boxes down here yeah they just ripped them off the shelf and made a mess um bottled water it looks like over here on the right this picture says hundreds of cars were left abandoned on the roadways after failing to trudge through the feet of snow. They were probably told no travel, including some tractors, trailers, and buses. Uh, the tractor trailers were told to stay off the roads, but they did not listen. They uh, decided to uh, deliver their loads, and they got stuck to and made uh, getting to people, emergency services, virtually impossible. When you don't stay off the road, and your car, truck, whatever gets stuck. You are preventing emergency services getting to other people. You are causing their deaths. This here says a view of downtown Buffalo on Monday, several days after the storm ravaged the city. And you know what's the difference right now? They're saying that the storm of 1977 was far worse. But the people in 1977, I think, were different. Uh, they had morals, they knew how to prepare, they took the warning seriously. I think they were more self-reliant than people are nowadays. Here it says a storm dumped so much snow on the city of Buffalo, the fire department was unable to respond to any calls, any calls. Another reason people need to be prepared. In the past, they used to be prepared. Why aren't you preparing now? Look how this road here is blocked for emergency responders. Each one of these cars, after they've been towed, should be 
paying a heavy fine for going out when you were supposed to stay home, no travel. Here it says in Erie County, three people were killed from cardiac events, heart attacks, while shoveling snow and snow blowing during the storm. Um, they recommend that no one over the age of 50 should be shoveling snow. When it's safe to get out, go out there and help your family members. Three people in Buffalo died while waiting on delayed EMS, according to Erie County officials. The same thing happened there in uh, the West Coast or on the West Coast there um, in Petaluma. Yeah, two people died waiting on EMS. Now, this was posted a while ago, but it says our Erie County Department of Health confirms of the uh, 12 blizzard-related deaths. Four were found outside. One was found in a car. Three were from snow shoveling, uh, blowing, cardiac events. One was found inside. Three, three for delayed EMS responses. Sadly, we're getting reports of additional deaths that still need to be confirmed. This here is Hookah's Restaurant in Hamburg. Um, it had been entirely covered in ice after being hit with freezing spray from the lake. Emergency workers in Buffalo made at least 50 rescues between Friday and Saturday, including a small child. Yeah, I've seen it that deep before. And the snow that they got in 1977 was far worse. But according to the Erie County Sheriff's Department said, I lived through the blizzard of 77 and this is worse. Yeah, I find that hard to believe, but that's what they're saying. And then it says here, the American medical response of Western New York has also suffered from stolen emergency vehicles after being t stuck in the snow. That That is unforgivable. Seattle, Washington saw hundreds and thousands of homes and businesses left without power, with millions left on the edge uh, about the possibility of blackouts. But, yeah, how many of that is actually from vandalism? Acts of terror. Yeah, different world from 1977 to now. Two golf domes within Buffalo City have been destroyed, with the furious storm causing them to collapse. And here's a truck that was told to stay off the roads, and they didn't do it. This is a clip from a woman begging for help. Uh, for two days, she took in this man. He has dementia. He was found wandering around out in the snow. She says he has gangrene, more than likely frostbite, on his hands. Um, yeah, with emergency responders, if anyone noticed he was missing, maybe from a nursing home, or someone's house, uh, they wouldn't be able to uh, go out and look for him. Luckily, the, this woman took him in and had been taking care of him for over two days. He was later finally taken to the hospital. But you got to think about uh, the homeless. Where did they end up going? Uh, those with medical conditions. Uh, there was another report of power that went out for a man with his son who was on a ventilator, and when the power went out, he had to manually hand pump the ventilator for two days. See, someone like that, you would think, would have had a, a backup power source just in case. You know, why, why didn't he have um, some kind of um, battery for the uh, ventilator? Here's one. This is Jackery. It stores uh, 250 watts, I believe it is. And yeah, it's it's not really that expensive. Myself, I have a Blue Yeti. It will run my refrigerators, my freezers, fans, lights, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it, that one is spendy. These battery um, backups for um, your computer or your cell phones, I bought in 2019. And I think uh, the largest... Uh, capacity one, the most expensive one. That one was uh, $20. I took these with us on our trip to Florida 
and uh, the kids were using the cell phones to play their games and tablets. And when the, the batteries on the uh, tablets and cell phone went dead, they used uh, these. And they lasted a long time. So then when we got to a hotel, I just recharged them. Why don't people have these? They're cheap. I think this one was like 10 or $15, and this one was 20 If you have gas, if the power goes out, you can add humidity to the air, and that humidity will make the room feel like it's actually warmer than it is. If you do travel uh, during winter, you should have certain things in your car, extra blanket, extra shoes, gloves, hat, flashlight, kitty litter for traction, um, booster cables, a first aid kit. Um, they got candles here. Yeah, your ice scraper. Yeah, surprising how many people do not have this in their cars. But they shouldn't have been out traveling anyways. Yeah, sometimes things happen unexpectedly. But people were given plenty notice that uh, this storm was going to come. And there's another one coming after this one. You could even set up a tent in your home for emergencies so you only have to worry about um, one small area to stay warm notice they got a pad they got sleeping bags blankets and if you got more than one person or a pet they can sleep with you too and keep it warm in there if you have a fireplace you can use that to keep yourself warm too yeah um, have a stockpile of um, seasoned wood. You don't want green wood because green wood could uh, cause extra creosote to build up in your um, chimney and you could have a, a, a chimney fire. So many people just assume that help is just one phone call away, but often that is not the case. You need to be prepared to be on your own for who knows how long. Could be a week, could be two weeks could be longer have a way of protecting what you do have so many people say well I'm not gonna prepare I'm just gonna take it from you and there was a video of a store owner shooting off a gun scaring off uh, looters yeah you need to be prepared uh, for many situations so for the homes that were broken into uh, why were they targeted was it known in their neighborhood that they were preppers? Um, yeah, don't let other people know what kind of supplies you got because, yeah, you could be a target. Um, be prepared. Don't be lazy. Think of your family, your grandchildren. Um, if they tell you to stay home, if they tell you to stay off the roads, do so. Don't put the lives of emergency responders at risk because you were um just selfish that's all it is being selfish and going out and doing things that you shouldn't be doing so what are your thoughts please put those comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for your support i hope everyone has a safe and blessed new year and keep prepping and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye